Christmas story is not an easy story to explain to our children, but even the youngest child needs to understand about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus and his triumph over sin in the grave. The Easter story is the foundation of our faith. This Easter, I wanted to write a study guide with children in mind. I wanted to write something that would walk children through the resurrection story, but I didn't just want to start with Palm Sunday and just go over the week before he died. I mean, that's that's what it's, everything's leading up to is the empty tomb. But when we when we talk about the fact that Jesus rose again, that's with the assumption that kids really understand what that means and the excitement that that held for the people back in Jesus' day all the way through history to us today. But a lot of times children don't understand. They don't understand about the first sin. They don't understand the consequences of that sin or about Satan, where he came from, or the origin of God, free will, um, just what it took for Jesus to die for our sins. And so I really wanted to write a study that would walk children through all those different concepts and lead them right back up into Resurrection Week. And I felt like if I could do that, the children had such a deeper appreciation for what Jesus did on the cross and the excitement of an empty tomb. And so I wrote a study guide and I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. And it's going to take you through um, three weeks for Easter week. So you'll start about a month before Easter and you'll have eight lessons to cover during the first three weeks at your own pace. There's a ton of crafts that go along with it um, to just kind of concrete into the child's mind the different concepts that you're going over. And then starting with Palm Sunday, there'll be one lesson per day, and we'll go over each day um, of that week and what was going on. And so there'll be a separate teaching for each day as well as crafts that go along with that. And so I really believe that by the time the children reach um, Easter Sunday, they'll have such a deeper understanding and they'll have excitement of them for themselves about what Jesus did and that the empty tomb, um, what that signifies. And then we wrap up the whole study with, well, how does that apply to us today and the salvation plan for children there at the end? So I'm really excited to present this study to you and I hope that you guys um, find enjoyment and it leads your family closer to Jesus during this Easter celebration. So if you would like to get the PDF, go ahead and click the link below and you can um, access it there. I've 
also written a blog post with all the supplies that you'll need for all the crafts that you'll be going over and you can just you know click on there and do your shopping all in one spot and get organized so you can sit back and relax and enjoy doing the activities with your family. I've also created quite a few tutorials for some of the crafts that might be a little bit harder so um, you can find those in the link below as well. So I hope that you join us for this um, resurrection month um, as we go over this study guide. I've also created an Instagram account where anybody can post just using a hashtag um, that's given in my study guide. And you can, as you're doing the crafts, we'd love to see the spin that you've got on it and what you're experiencing through this Easter week and maybe some you know input from the kids. So um, we'd love if you joined us on the Instagram account over there. So I'm really excited to start this week and I hope you guys have a very blessed Resurrection Month.